our friends from the media. Uh, I can see Manuel here. I've seen Baba. Baba is uh, the assistant press officer for the Ghana Olympic Committee. I've seen Mr. Sam Yokine, the uh, director of communication. I've seen uh, uh, Jonathan. I've seen all our friends from the media. And I'm very happy that they're supporting a brand that goes to support sportsmen and for that matter, people who want to be healthy. Uh, our supporters group also here, yeah, thank you very much. I think um, as much as we waited for two hours for the program to start, you never stopped singing and that has kept us alive till the program got started. Thank you very much everybody for coming. When I got the letter from uh, my Secretary General asking that there was going to be a product lunch and it was an energy drink, I was very excited because I know what energy drinks does for our sportsmen. Those that do not contain banned substances are always necessary when our sportsmen work out in the gym. It replaces whatever they, they lose quickly and then it gives them, it gives them muscle strength. So I promised them that, yes, I was going to show up as the president of Ghana Sports and as somebody who is keen in making sure that we develop our sports and develop it very well. I was going to show up and then give it my support and my backing. And I'm here, and I'm very happy that I am part of this program. As much as we all want our sports to develop, as much as we all want to see athletes progress and do well. There is a duty on each and every one of us to play our part, whether as sports administrators, like myself, whether as media people who are supposed to brand our sports with a lot of positive news instead of the 10% uh, bad ones that we usually do, and whether as sponsors, like Nana Agre is, I think what most sponsors have failed to do or to realize is the amount of ambush marketing you can do when you sponsor sports. Most of the time, our sponsors are interested in doing the Miss Ghanas and the, you know, the, the musical shows, which for me, um, yes, as much as it's good for our youth, it doesn't really help to develop our youth who are supposed to be our future leaders. I will appeal to Nana, as well as all the other sponsors that look. When you support sports, when you sponsor sports, you are not only doing your corporate social responsibility as you do when you sponsor Miss Ghana or a musical show. What you are effectively doing is to help to develop the youth of the country. It is our youth who are involved in sports. So once you do anything to develop sports, you are developing our youth. So let me take this platform and appeal to all sponsors, whether you are into beverage, whether you are into telephone, anything that you're into. I know you do a lot of adverts. I know you put a lot of money in marketing. I'm asking you, try this. Support a sports program, sports, support a sports federation. Speak to our media friends. Fortunately for us, we have so many media people who are doing sports. I'm sure there are more sports journalists than there are political journalists in this country. If I'm right, somebody say, hi. Are there sports journalists there? Aye. Yeah, we have more sports journalists in this yeah. country than we have right. political sports journalists. Right. So if you're associating yourself with sports, obviously you are going to have a lot of media airtime, you are going to have a lot of visibility, and you are going to be friends to a lot of journalists who on any day and in any place will always mention your product. So please, I'm appealing to top products, I'm appealing to top companies. Let us see you investing more in sports development. Let us see you invest, investing more in supporting the ministry, in supporting the Ghana Olympic Committee, in supporting all the various sports federations that we have in this country. That is the only way we can develop our youth. That is the only way we can prepare the future youth of this country. Development or success in life doesn't only come when you sit in the classroom and you go all the way to the university. No. Look at all the rich, rich guys who are in sports.